Пожалуйста, Новый год, новые задачи, впереди новые встречи. Что вы думаете о предстоящих выступлениях нашей сборной? Ну, во-первых, мне хотелось поздравить всех многочисленных болельщиков с Новым годом. В составе двух клубов сборная команда Советского Союза будет встречаться с лучшими профессиональными командами Америки и Канады, которых вы увидите по телевизору. Сборная команда Советского Союза. Number two, Alexander Gusev. Number three, Vladimir Luchenko. Number four, Viktor Kuskin. Number five, Valerie Vasilyev. Number six, Yunachi Kishkanka. Number seven, the team captain, Boris Mikhailov. Number eight, Vakislav Soloduki. Number nine, Alexander Volchkov. Number ten, Victor Kuchetny. Number 11, Boris Alexandrov. Number 12, Alexander Motsev. Number 13, Alexei Volchenko. Number 14, Vladimir Popov. Number 16, Vladimir Petrov. Number 18, Vladimir Vikulov. Number 21, Sergei Glasov. Number 22, Victor Shluptov. Number 17, Valery Heilemov. And the head coach of the Soviet Army team, Konstantin Lopter.
Dodgers, number 31, Doug Sokar. Number 35, John Davidson. Here is number two, Carol Batney. Number four, Ron Grishna. Number five, Larry Satchelor. Number 23, John Bonoski. Number 25, Nick Beverly. And here's number seven, Rod Gilbert. Next, number eight, Steve Vickers. Number nine, Rick Middleton. Where number ten, Bill Fairburn. Number 11, Wayne Dillon. Number 14, Eddie Johnstone. Number 15, Bill Collins. Number 18, Walker Chuck. Number 20, Rick Paulus. Number 21, Pete Stankowski. Number 22, Jerry Hall. Number 28, Doug Jarrett. And now, the captain of the Rangers, number 12, events, the teams, led by their captains, will exchange gifts which personify goodwill and sportsmanship. Well, you saw a shot of the gifts that uh, are exchanged and are being exchanged right now between the Soviet Central Red Army team and the New York Rangers as hockey history is made in Madison Square Garden with a regular National Hockey League team meeting a team from the Soviet Union. 
And they tell us actually some hockey history in New York City as well. This is the very first major international game to be played in New York. In a salute to the two great nations represented here tonight. First, here is the anthem of the Soviet Union. coverage of Super Series 76. Game one continues in just a moment. The referee you see there with the red armbands is Yuri Karandin of the Soviet Union. And the other officials from the National Hockey League, John D'Amico and Matt Pavlich. And now the referee, Yuri Karandin, goes to center ice. The goaltenders, Trepiak and Davidson. And Super Series 76 is underway with the puck going back to the Red Army zone. Cleared out by Gusev down the ice in behind the Ranger goal. Rangers back to pick it up and it's icing against the Red Army. Very happy to have Harry Sinden with us in the broadcast booth as the analyst. Harry, we heard that maybe there wasn't all that much interest down in the States for this series. I was very impressed with the crowd atmosphere when the introductions were made. A lot of excitement here tonight, Dick. I know in Boston they're looking forward to it. Esposito is at center ice for the Rangers with Vickers and Gilbert. Back at the line. Reschner just tapped it on the boards. It comes in front of Esposito. with the easy goal. Nice pass. Okay, one to nothing. The Rangers. And here they come again with Esposito slapping one. Tretiak gloving it and hanging on. Harry, they had a lot of room to move around in front of that net. Their defense seemed to disappear. I know it. They didn't pay attention to Phil in the slot and that, that's dynamite. Well, I think it's ironic and fitting, really, that he gets involved like that in the first goal in this series, considering what he did in the last one involving NHL team. One to nothing, the New York Rangers get Kowski in the corner. He got away from Luchenko with a pass back to the blue line. Beverly sliced it in behind the net. 
Middleton couldn't tear it in front. And the Red Army team being hemmed in by the four tracking New York Rangers. Stamkowski centered into the crease. And Badme was tied up to the side of the head. The fans calling for a penalty. The play goes right on. And the Rangers, Middleton keeping it in. He took a weak shot. In front of the net, it's Luchenko coming out. His pass comes down, went by Vikulov. He couldn't hang on to it. And now Kachuk bodied out of the play. But he got back into it at center ice. He's being hounded by Sagankov. And again, you hear the fans in Madison Square Garden calling for maybe a penalty. But no penalties called in this first period. one to nothing, New York. And here now. It's the Rangers to Chuk coming down. His pass went into Stemkowski. He's offside, and the play is called. They love the Rangers tonight in Madison Square Garden. They are the underdogs against the Central Red Army team. And there is one of the assistant coaches. That is Yenyam Alexandrov, a longtime star with the Soviet national team. They are traditionally the best in the Soviet Union. Esposito, you see number 12 on the ice again. He assisted on the goal by Vickers. One to nothing, New York. And the Red Army team, led by Malsev, didn't get very far, but now they poke it over the line. Kuzkin tapping it into the corner. Beverly, number 25 for New York, gets it handed back to him behind the net. Now Beverly nearly lost it in front of the goal, but he regained it in time. It's kept in by Solodukin. Now it's cleared to center ice. And this is Kuzkin for the Red Army. A long pass to center didn't work. And the Rangers bring it back in again. On the wing is Polis. He took a shot. And Kutgek stopped it. It's behind the net. Then they trying to dig it in front. And failing. Oh, hard into the corner. Kutgek was really bolted. The puck goes down the ice. Icing against the Red Army. But I'll tell you, Gennady Kutgek was really nailed. From New York, Super Series 76. Play just underway again, and the Red Army failing to keep it inside the Ranger line, but there's a penalty coming up, and this is the first one of the game. It'll be against the New York Rangers, a tripping call coming up. And now the Red Army in control, Tretyak is out of the net, and here they come. It's Vigulov in over the line. On the left wing, he's bumped by Greshner, the play goes right on. And it's kept in by Vasiliev. A shot was blocked, they still have control of the puck. Down into the corner, and finally, Jarrett, well, the Rangers grabbing it, and the play is called, and the fans thought it should have been called earlier, but there it is. Harry, the first power play opportunity of the hockey game falls to the Soviet team. What can the fans look for right here? I think you can watch the Soviet team try to concentrate their power play on one side of the net, in one, one of the big face-off circles, and in the hopes of working a man free on the opposite side. He'll throw two men over on that one side, try to draw the New York defense over, and either shoot their uh, other point men in from the point for the, for the open shot or work it to their centerman. But we can watch for that. That's what they did in 72. Jaron off for hooking at 2.46. Petrov for the Red Army at center ice to take the face off. He'll be against Kachuk of the Rangers. Gusev and Vasilyev at the points. Harlamov gets it back. Vasilyev over to Gusev. Gusev didn't get a shot by Fairburn, and he gave it to... The Ranger at center ice. To shoot, he just hangs on to it. Plays it back. Rangers killing some precious seconds on this Soviet team. And down the ice it goes. A minute 35 left in the penalty. They kill some time there, but here they come again. Petrov coming in over the line. Petrov a pass in front of the net. Broken up. And it's again clear. Kachuk comes to center ice. Kachuk will kill some time again. He plays it back to the Rangers zone. And now, Batne, he rags it a bit. Batne nearly lost it, but he still has it. At center, down it goes to Fairbairn. Good stick handling. Now he loses it. And at center, ice to Chuk covering up again. Good defensive play by the New York Rangers. This is Batne at his own line. He really handled it well. Now it's cleared down the ice. And they're likely to get a standing ovation if they can hang on in this fashion. Rangers changing on the goal. Esposito is in the play now. The pass by Petrov goes to center. And in they come. Gusev turning around near the line to Petrov. Petrov winding up. Had a stick left in. But the shot on the score. Right in front of the net. Alexandrov tying the game 1-1. He's the youngest player in the Soviet team here tonight. He's only 20 years of age. 
Excellent low shot. Excellent low shot. Esposito almost lifted his stick before he got the shot away. Nobody to cover up for the rebound, and it slides under Davidson. We heard, uh, Dick, that they shoot much more from the points than they did uh, a couple of years ago, and there was a pretty good example of it. So, a power play goal. Boris Alexandrov scoring for the Red Army. 1-1 tie now. That was a power play goal. Here's Esposito going in again. Oh! Gilbert had a great opportunity, and it went by him. Coming back. The Red Army team clearing it in over the line, stopped in front, slooked up, couldn't get a shot, and Davidson hangs onto it for a face-off in the Ranger zone. Just to recap the scoring plays, it was Vickers from Esposito and Gilbert, 21 seconds, and then Alexandrov on the power play for the Central Red Army from Petrov and Gusev at 4.04. Face-off coming up in the Ranger zone. Slooked up at center ice for Red Army, Alexandrov. Playing on the left wing, Nikulov on the right side. Jankov skates up to the edge of the circle. But the Rangers with the draw. Jarrett coming out. Jarrett's pass off the boards went by Vickers. Now Esposito tipped it ahead. Vickers took a whack at it. Coming back quickly as Zagankov in the corner. He handles it on the boards. Loses it against Gilbert. Foe. That's the deal. And he rifled one just wide. That pass came out. Lightning speed. Oh. Esposito quickly let it go, but it was wide. Nikulov's pass stopped by Esposito. He's turning again. He shoots it in over the Red Army line and going back is Luchenko in the corner. Gilbert went after him. Now Esposito kicks it in to Gilbert. Gilbert with Vickers in front. And the great stop to Esposito. Oh, that guy took it away from Esposito. He was right in on top of him. Now coming back, Alexandrov down the right side. A pass goes into Shlutov, right in front of the floor. Mikulov and Shlutov, right in on top of Davidson. He had no chance. Miss him at one end, Harry, get it at the other. I know, it was too bad. A great play by Espo uh, and a good save by Trey. But I'll tell you, Dick, that was the first three on two that the, the Russians had. And, and if you leave them too many of those, uh, uh, you're going to be in trouble. The first three on two they had executed perfectly. So there's the goal scorer, Vladimir Vikulov, who has two Olympic gold medals to his credit. These fellas can put him in the net. They've only had, I think, three shots, and they've got two goals. They lead two to one. Lots of excitement so far in this first period. And it's two to one Red Army. Popov back at his own line. Slides it to the other side. Red Army playing it back. Kuzkin, his pass down to center. Popov shoots it back in. Solodukin coming in. Solodukin barrels into the corner. Beverly is after him all the way. And coming back to help out. Didn't work. They center it in front. Davidson covering up. He grabbed it quickly as he reached from the crease. 5.18, the time of the goal. Big John Davidson, who had that sensational junior career in Calgary. He has played in 26 of the Rangers' 36 games this season. Kaladukin with Popoff and Malsev up front for Red Army. Kuzkin, Volchenkov, the defenseman. And from the draw, Dylan of the Rangers cleared it up over the line at center ice. Didn't go very far with it. Holland turning around near the center ice red line. He was bumped the... Both go down, Solodukin and Holland, and back for Kuzkin. Around his own net on the boards for Popov. He was stopped. Again, Dylan going in, throwing some weight around, but coming out. Popov coming down the left side, cutting in for a drive. They're offside. Mossad ahead of the play. Tonight's game is coming to you from Madison Square Garden. The face-off coming up outside the Ranger line. 2-1 to one the score, Red Army leading. The Rangers taking the lead first and giving up a power play goal. And then the go-ahead. Only took 21 seconds for the Rangers to get on the scoreboard. Reshner comes out. His long pass to center. Out coming back, Mikhailov, he was stopped. And at center ice, Tempkowski gets the shot away. That low drive was wide. It's kept in by Walt Kachuk turning around. He's in control pretty well. His pass went by Stankowski, though. Harlamov back in his own zone, back of the net. It's cleared out. By Vasilyev and down the ice. Harlamov after it. He's his speedster. The pass to Mikhailov into Petrov. He was stopped again. It's cleared out. Here's Stankowski and Kachuk has it. He's coming across center. In with Middleton. Middleton cuts for the goal. And... Covered in front of 
that was Kachuk. Back for Petrov and Sarah Rice. The two-man break. And going in with Mikhailov in front of it. And he's spun around by Greshner. And the Rangers are clearing it. Out it comes to the line. Petrov is blocked by Kachuk. Back in low for Harlamov. Harlamov cutting for the net. He falls. A penalty coming up against the Rangers. Ron Greshner getting penalized. This is Super Series 76 from New York. Ron Greshner of the Rangers out for tripping at 720, and he really dumped Karlamov in the Soviet right good, winger. So good move by Karlamov, you know, he drew that penalty. He was around Greshner, yeah, and that's right. all he could do. Right? Well, Tough there's man. Greshner in the box, and the faceoff coming to the right of Davidson. He has to make a stop after that ball. Beverly sliced it on the board. Air Bear trying to tip it out. It hit a stick of Sakonkov and went over the board. Harry, I notice you're reacting as we sit here to the way the Soviets are getting the puck out of their own zone. They're doing it very well, and they're doing it with long passes. They've thrown a half a dozen 60-foot passes from deep in their own end up towards center ice. Now bad day. Number two for the Rangers to Fairbairn. Down the ice it goes, and Sagankov at his own line. His pass to Shluktov. Shluktov into center ice, and coming in, Vikulov. On the right side, putting the brakes on. In front of the net it comes. Dusev took the shot. It hit a leg. They keep it in, though. Lukchenko on the boards. He centered it. Vikulov on the other side has it near the blue line now. Vikulov back to the line. Here's Sagankov. And that shot went off his stick, and Davidson got in front of it as to see waiting around in front of the net. Now it's cleared out over the line. Sagankov knocked it down with his glove, and he's in control. Here he comes. Gennady Sagankov speeding in. He's on the boards to the corner, centered it. Shluktov left it back at the blue line. They can't get a shot. Now it's Alexandrov near the boards in the corner. Alexandrov, he's a good newcomer for the Red Army. Right in front is pass, and Batney covered up, and it's still in. Sagankov laid it over in front of the goal. Once again, it's cleared by the Rangers down the ice. Beverly got his stick on it. 40 seconds left in the penalty. Around the net, Luchenko flipped it in front of the goal. And it comes out to Petrov. A pass down to the wing. Mikhailov coming in. Mikhailov, number seven, left it at the line again. They pass it around beautifully. Harlamov along the boards. On the other side for Vasilyev. The shot is blocked by Vadnay. Vadnay will clear it now for the Rangers. As far as the line, now it comes out over at center right. The score is 2-1. to one, Red Army leading. This is... Arlamov at center. He couldn't go by. Rolled it in front, though, and it was cleared down the ice by the New York Rangers. Eight seconds left with the penalty. Coming back, Vasilya for Red Army. Up to center is pass. Arlamov is stopped. Now they bring it in again. Luchenko played it over near the line, and Stemkowski takes over. He's twisting and turning with the Rangers at full strength. Freshner stick handles away. He comes to center as he got by Mikhailov and cleared it in behind the Red Army net. Here's Gusev. He fired one on the boards to Harlamov. Coming down with Petrov over the line. Back to Harlamov. Shooting! And Davidson blocked that one. 2-1, Red Army leading. The Rangers trying to get it going again. Middleton racing up. He's offside at the Red Army blue line. Harry, another three and two break just a moment ago. That's what you said. That the Dick, Rangers they either up. score or force your goalie to make a good save, which Harlamov did on that three on two, and you just can't allow them uh, very many more of those. Number five, Asiliev, one of the players added to the roster. He plays normally for the Moscow Dynamos. They have two players in uniform tonight, not normally members of the Central Red Army team. They played 9.53 of the first period. 2-1, Red Army. Rangers shoot it in. Red Army zone. It comes down the board. Covering up was Volchenkov. He clears it up to center ice. And there was Malsev. Malsev's pass into Popov and Saladukin. This is Popov. He was trying to go through. And I believe another penalty coming up to the Rangers. With 9.47 remaining in the first period, the score, the Soviet Red Army 2, the New York Rangers 1. Ron Greshner draws his second straight penalty. There have been three in the period, all drawn by the Rangers. It's a cross-checking call at 10.13. One of the two Soviet goals tonight, the first one by Alexandrov, came on a power play with Doug Jarrett in the penalty box. And now, once again, Red Army with a man advantage. Shluktov comes to center ice. 
Alexandrov and Mikulov. Sagankov with Chenko on the defense. Cleared by the Rangers down the ice. Petyak stopping it. He hasn't had too much to do over the past seven or eight minutes. Petyak now on this power play. Mikulov coming in, dropping it back. Alexandrov gets set. Rifled it. The rebound is cleared back to the two point man to the center ice area. Mikulov laid it back to his own line. Zagankov up to center ice. The candles near the line. Can't go in. The Rangers line up to meet him. Now he drops it back. Luchenko is going to try it with Alexandrov. Alexandrov through center ice. He was stopped at the Ranger line. And Jared shoots it over on an open wing. Now again, Luchenko winding up his pass. Alexandrov lifted over to him again. Luchenko comes up near the line. Will he go in? He's with Zikulov, and he was really bumped at Luchenko. He was dropped as he hit the Ranger blue line. Coming back, Sagankov. Back to his own net. Laid it over to Harlamov as they change on the goal. Harlamov, four check back deep. Now he starts out his pass is stopped again. Fairbairn left it at center ice. Harlamov tried to get away. Played it in. Across the line. He still has it. Harlamov, a real speedster, but his pass goes to center. 35 seconds left in the Ranger penalty. Vasilyev's pass to center ice. And it's Petrov playing it back. Harlamov going in. Trying to fake his way through. And Batman knocked him down. And it was cleared out to the blue line and over it. Gusev back to Vasilyev. And center ice now. Mikhailov, the captain of this Red Army team. Here he comes. Mikhailov at center. Comes up near the Ranger line. And they bump him on the boards. And it's clear they hold it on the boards for a face-off. Coming up during our first intermission. All that coming up during our first intermission. Red Army with Vashislav Solodukin at center ice. Small Sev on the right side. Popov on the left wing. And it's Volchenkov and Kuzkin on the defense. The Rangers with Esposito and Vickers. Seven seconds left in Breshner's penalty. Garrett slaps at it. It goes as far as the line. Kept in by Kuzkin in front with Beverly. And he cleared it to center. Now the Ranger penalty is over. They're at full strength. This is Malsev coming in. He was stopped. Coming back. Pop off near his own line. Up to center ice. They come back to regroup like this. And it's Malsev playing it back. He gets the relay. Nearly lost it to Esposito. But they move it to center. Malsev coming in. He stops inside the line. The pass is stopped by Vickers. Coming back to Esposito. Esposito at center ice. In with Vickers along the left wing. Vickers cutting for the corner. He couldn't center it. Overstating in back of the goal. And Malsev cleared it. This is Malsev. Coming over the line to center ice. Malsev down the right side. He gets in the slot to Solodukin. And Davidson kicking out of that one with Breshner, bringing it back for the Rangers. This is Gilbert coming down with Esposito and Vickers. Vickers on the left wing. He got away from Kuskin in the corner. Took a check. Solodukin covering up for the Red Army. Solodukin in front of his own net. And it's cleared by Volchenko. Into the corner. And they rough it up a bit before the pass comes to Malsev. He's built it by Jarrett. And it comes to the center ice area. Bringing it back, Popov. Popov, stick handling around, fell down. Good award, Red Army leading. Esposito took the swing at Popov in retaliation of a slight stick swinging duel. Vladimir Popov putting the stick up at Esposito. He goes right on. Rangers down by a goal. Set up Vickers. He takes the shot. And that's stopped by Petjak as he fell quickly and made the stick save. Now Harlamov coming out. He's going down the left side at center in with Petrov. Harlamov trying to go all the way. And the Rangers break it up and come right back. This is Badney at center in with Vickers. Vickers along the boards. His pass to Gilbert. He fell. It's a three-man break. One man is back. Petrov coming down. The pass to Harlamov. Back in front. And Davidson went down. And the big save was by Beverly. The only defenseman back. Great play by Beverly and the Rangers. Brother, that looked dangerous. Three on one. Now back in the center ice area. Gusev turning around. The pass to Petrov coming in again. Petrov shoots. And Davidson stopped at the rebound. Was rifled wide by Mikhailov. They get it out over the line to center ice. The Russians in control, though, at this stage. They're leading two to one. 
Now back for it is Vasilia. Back of the net for Gusev. He was belted in there by Jerry Holland. Now Holland down the boards, checking on another one. It's cleared over where Harlamov has to go back for it. Harlamov tipped it back in his own zone. Big Gusev coming out. The long pass going down the ice. It'll be icing with Jarrett going back. Game one of Super Series 76 is coming to you from Madison Square Garden. Here's Al Arbor, coach of the New York Islanders. In attendance here tonight, his team will be playing the other Soviet club, the Wings, later on during this series of eight games. Now the Rangers with the draw. It's good in front by Holland. He could get a shot away. Dylan went in after it, but Luchenko beat him to it. Now Dylan stole it. Oh! And Kretniak, lightning-like fashion, kicked out the leg and made the save. Dylan keeping it in with Holland, but not for long. Coming out, look top to center ice. Up with Zikulov carrying in. He played it back to the line. It's kept in by Shmukov, and his pass went by Alexandrov from the other wing. Rangers bringing it out with Fairbear being stopped in center ice. Coming back, Alexandrov and Zikulov up over the line. Alexandrov going right in. And he centered it, making that extra pass, but the Rangers covered up. Two to one, Red Army with 4 10 remaining in the first period. Next goal high, Slukov took a bump along the board. Now the play is called the offside of the Ranger line. We have 4 3 remaining in the first period. Harry Sinden, anything surprises you so far? No, except that they can maintain that pace of theirs, particularly on offense. Once they get moving towards the Ranger end, they, they seem to pick up, and by the time they hit the Ranger blue line, they're flying. Uh, the Rangers, I thought, very, very effective killing that last penalty by lining up across their own blue line. Uh, the Soviets will never shoot the puck in. Now the Rangers with Beverly, who made that big defensive play a minute or so ago on a three-on-one break by Red Army. Now the ice it goes. No icing on this one. It's waved off by John D'Amico. Kluskin was belted on the boards and couldn't clear it. But here they come with Popov up near the line. Stopped by Badnay, who turns. That made for the Rangers, shooting a long one in wide of the goal. Kretniak slapped at it with a stick into the corner. It's grabbed quickly by Greg Polis. Right in front. Here's the loose puck in front of the net, and John Stone was all alone and couldn't find it. Now the play comes out to Malsev. He's up near the line. Back to Popov, and they're offside at the Ranger line. From New York, Super Series 76. Face-off coming up just outside the Ranger blue line. Red Army changing again. Esposito is now centering Polis and Johnstone. Red Army with Petrov, Arlamov, and Mikhailov. And that's the number one line in probably all of the Soviet Union. Now coming out slowly. Vadnais pass down across the line to Johnstone. He couldn't get a shot, though. Polis keeping it in. Polis sliced it in front, and covering up was Mikhailov. Mikhailov back in his own net. Lusev's pass comes out to the line. Harlamov coming down. Harlamov up over the line, dropped it over in front, and again the Rangers break it up. With Vadnais, neat pass over on the wing for Johnstone coming in. Johnstone passed it back in front. Esposito got in and couldn't see it. And now Beverly took a shot. Right in front, Esposito! Covering on the angle, Esposito wrapped at it and hit him with it. Now the center ice area of the Rangers with some offensive power now. They get up the spires the line. Esposito brings it in. Esposito, who is the, one of the big stars of the 72 series, keeping it in. Now finally bringing it out, Mikhailov to center ice on a break. Harlamov dropping it over. And the Rangers get back the can't clear it. Gusev shoots! And his high drive went off the glass. Here the blue line, it's kept in by Vasilia. Back of the goal, Beverly got away from Mikhailov. And it's Beverly's pass up to Middleton, who comes to center, in with Polis. Polis is offside at the Red Army line. Back in 1972, Phil Esposito led everybody in that series with 52 shots on goal. And he's had two or three cracks at Tretjak tonight. And this was the one that he had as that puck came through from Beverly, and he let it go. He just whacked at it. Tretjak hanging on on the short side. And made the save and then cleared the rebound. In the center ice area, Jarrett over for Greshner. The Rangers, they shoot it in. 
to Gonkov, takes it for Red Army. The long pass comes to center, Alexandrov trying to break in, he's across the line. Alexandrov, a quickly little hockey player, got it in front. Look up, couldn't shoot it, and Davidson covering near the side of the net makes the save. And we get another Ranger penalty, which makes it four for four against New York, and the fans reacting uh, on the call by the Soviet official Yuri Karanda. And it is Ron Greshner who draws his third straight penalty. Jarrett got the first one. It was while he was off that Alexandrov scored. And here's Greshner off here for holding. Interesting here, Dick, to see if the Soviets try anything different on their power play. They had a very, very poor power play the last time out, trying to make many plays at the Ranger blue line. None of them successfully. Maybe they will shoot it in. There is Victor Slutov, who's at center. On this power play, Davidson has to stop it right off the draw. That name falling. Tries to get another whistle and comes loose, though. It's kept in back to the line. Lutenko took a shot. That was blocked by Davidson, and he is probably going to be busy. Carol Vadney fell there, but Harry, I think Carol's had a pretty good first period so far. Very good. He looks the strongest uh, Ranger defense and playing very well. I noticed the Soviet player used his feet effectively there to free that puck after Carol fell on it. Looks off with Vikulov and Alexandrov. It went by everybody down the ice, and the Rangers clearing it. One minute, 25 seconds remaining in the period, and a minute, 35 in the penalty. And at center, Vikulov wheels his way up over the line, stick handling deeply. Vikulov is bumped on the boards. The Rangers, Kachuk, shooting it down the ice. Coming back, Vladimir Luchenko, back of the net. One minute remaining in the opening period. Two to one the score, Red Army leading. They're on a power play now. Up to center right. Vikulov coming up over the line, trying to stick handle through. And again, the Rangers breaking it up and clearing it for that day. 45 seconds remaining in the period. This is Petrov. Over the line, he's at center. Petrov with some difficulty controlling it. He has to wait for Harlamov to come out and Kachuk stole it. Kachuk and the Rangers. 33 seconds remaining in the period. Kachuk loses it at center. And Petrov coming back in his own zone with Vasilya. The pass to Harlamov at center. Harlamov coming up near the line. Breaks through all alone. Scores! A beautiful goal by Valerie Harlamov. Yeah, shades of game one in 72. You just, play here. you just won't see a better move through the middle of two defensemen than this one coming up right here. Fakes left, right, oh. slides it left again and through the middle with his quickness. And, and finish it out with a high shot to the glove side. Beautiful. Well, just a tremendous goal. That makes it 3-1. to one. Their second power play goal as Harlamov splits the defense and the move by Harlamov. Great individual effort, and up until that point, the Rangers very effective line up, lining up along their blue line. He has a quickly stick to once he puts the shift in. Through a sense of the word. Boy. Well, he has become one of the big stars, Valerie Harlamov. And just about every international series, certainly in the 72 series, Repeating in 74, and I guess again tonight. That was a super move in Super Series 76 game one, three to one, with four seconds remaining in the first period. The Rangers in control at center as the buzzer goes. The score: Red Army three and the Rangers one. Shift or two on somebody, he can accelerate after the shift is over and leave the player behind, and he did that perfectly on that goal. Both teams are back on, ready to start the second period. And the Red Army leading the New York Rangers, 3-1. to one. 97 percentage. And there is Petrov, who's the number one center on this team and on the national team, and who in the part of the Soviet season completed to this point in 34 games, scored 21 goals. Well, now let's see how the second period shapes up. A lot of excitement in the opening frame. Well, the Rangers penalized four times, and you can't continue to take penalties against this Soviet team and expect to come out on top. Gusev in his own zone, back in front of the net. It's played back for Petrov. He got away from Esposito. 
And he dropped it back. Mikhailov comes up to center. They'll go back again and get organized if it doesn't look that good to them up front. And they'll continue to control the puck, just like they're doing now. Mikhailov into Harlamov. Harlamov breaking for the net. Oh, and he just failed to get that shot away, being tied up by Vickers. Reshner for the Rangers. Coming out, slides it ahead. Gilbert with Esposito on his left. Esposito with the pass. Esposito comes up over the line, dropping it back. Red Army intercepting, clearing it to center. Mikhailov coming in with Harlamov. Here's Harlamov on the wing. It went behind him. Harlamov centered it, and it went by everybody to center ice. But again, Mikhailov was back to Petrov. Petrov to Harlamov coming in. Harlamov a pass to Mikhailov, and his shot was blocked by Gilbert. Gilbert now coming out. He's at center. Gilbert with Esposito. He didn't anticipate that move and didn't see the pass. That draw, that center, a two-on-one break again. Mikhailov's pass to Harlamov into the corner. He passed the center, it does he score! That draw, slapped it into the corner, and it's four to one. Doug Jarrett got caught up the ice on this one, and Harry, they're getting those breaks. Uh, you said they could not afford to let the Russians break away. Three-on-one, two-on-one, it happened again. Well, they kind of messed up the two-on-one, but it ended up in a goal anyway. They made a bad pass, uh, which is unusual. Finally got control of it again, and Karlamov with a beautiful pass. The goal by Petrov came at 1.26 to make it a 4-1 to hockey game. Harlamov and Mikhailov did on the assist, and Petrov, well, Petrov let it go right as soon as he got it. So it's now 4-1. to This is Shluktov. Back near his own line, Alexandrov with a pass, passed it ahead. That day near his own line for the Rangers. Long pass up on the wing to Chuk going in. Kachuk breaking for the net with Middleton. And he was stopped right in front. Demkowski has it in the corner. Demkowski near the blue line. He lost control of it, got it back again, and lost it a second time. Kachuk at center ice. Luchenko took it from him, and he's turning around in his own zone. Luchenko, up the ice, the pass to the right side, Alexandrov is coming in, took a shot, got his own rebound, and then Badney took it. Badney, coming down, a long pass to center, tipped by Kachuk, no icing on the plays, Donkov slapped it on the corner boards, and it goes all the way back in over the Ranger line. Badney, for New York, 4-1, to one, Red Army leading. The play up near the blue line. Kachuk tossed it off to an open wing. Middleton comes back. And then Luchenko missed it. At center ice, they bring it in again. It's Alexandrov cutting for the net. He's in behind the goal. Into the corner, still has it. Alexandrov lost it against Kachuk. And Kachuk out at center ice, caught by Alexandrov, but managed to make a play. Badney takes the pass and is in. Badney right in front, and Kachuk couldn't reach it. He slapped it in front of the goal, and Tretyak blocked it and held on. Go! It caught the inside of the post on Davidson's stick side. A quick reaction on the part of the shooter, and of course that is so important, he made no mistake. They played 3-0-4 of the second period. A quick shot from the line is booted away. Volchenkov can move it out. Now it comes back near the Ranger line, and nobody was in position to pick it up. Reshner has to go back. Reshner being watched by Popov. Goes the other way, got away from Malsev. And the pass for Fairbairn didn't work. Picking it up, Volchenko at center ice into Popov, and the Rangers again with Reshner. His pass to Fairbairn. He was bumped by Volchenkov. And again, the Rangers, Reshner bringing it out. He's coming down with Dillon. And up over the line. This play right in front the backhand shot by Reshner. Was wide. Reshner again centered it. And Petyak goes down to make a save of Holland. It's kept in by Jarrett. Back of the net, Wayne Dillon went after it. And Petyak covered up. It's cleared back where Reshner again plays it ahead. And it's Dillon and Holland trying to move it in. Dillon was stopped, got it back. Into Holland, back to Dillon. Dillon back to Holland. Holland gets stuck. And the high drive was up against the glass. It's centered in the crease, and Tretgak has to hang on. From New York, Super Series 76. The Rangers now coming up 
With some offensive drive, and there's Tretiak getting set for this faceoff to his left. Bob, that goaltender's helmet he's wearing, made in Canada. Here's a quick shot, and that was stopped in front of the net. Harlamov brings it back out to center ice. He's going up over the line, trying to slip to the fence. He fell down as he tried to shoot it. And fanned on it. Now in front, a quick drive by Vasilya was up over the net. Back to the goal that day, being hounded by Mikhailov. And it's Harlamov trying to help out. Harlamov gets it back near the line, but the Rangers bring it out. A long pass down to the wing. And Vickers was stopped by Gusev. Harlamov tipped it out to center ice, and here's Mikhailov speeding in. He's in with Harlamov. Mikhailov gets set to Harlamov. And Davidson watched that one dribble by the near post. The Rangers finally get it out to center ice. 4 to 1 is the score. Red Army leading. Tipped in front of the net by Esposito. A high drive against the glass. Vickers in the corner, bumped by Vasilia. Vasilia bringing it out, looking ahead. The play comes to the left wing, and here's Alexandrov dropping it back. Mikhailov trying to set it up in front, and he was belted hard by Bednarski, who's on for the first time. Gilbert's pass down to Vickers. He has to hurry to get by Vasilia. Centered it. Esposito! Oh, and that was blocked in front. Now Red Army trying to move it out of their own zone. There it comes with Mikhailov to center ice and it's Alexandrov coming in. Alexandrov dropping it back. Gusev along the boards in for the Petrov. A bullet shot. Stopped by Davidson. It's cleared up by Johnstone. At center ice, Johnstone coming in, overstates it. He was checked from behind. Nikolov couldn't move it out. Gusev into the corner. Red Army regrouping Alexandrov in his own zone, leaving it for Gusev. Gusev tipped it out front. Nikulov comes near the line, nearly lost it, he did. And spinning around was Polis. Polis could get a shot. It's clear Stemkowski didn't reach it. And Vikulov at center ice got away from Stemkowski and then Polis. And it's Vikulov bringing it in. Finally, he was bucked out of the play. And the Rangers clear it out. Here's Polis. One man back. He's going in. Dropping it along the blue line. And Alexandrov came back to pick it up. Four to one. Red Army leading. Polis tried to hit a man back of the net and missed him. Red Army, a long shot down the ice. Stopped by Davidson. Now Jarrett's pass up to center. Stemkowski is coming in. Big Stemkowski being muscled off on the boards by Vasilya. He centered it, but it was blocked in time. Now Jarrett near his own blue line for the Rangers. Jarrett waits. A pass on the wing goes to Johnstone. Coming in is Stemkowski. Stemkowski's pass was blocked by Malsev. And back for Red Army. At center ice, it's in with Popov. He was stopped. It's centered right in front. And a shot went way wide of the net. Malsev not coming near the goal. Popov chasing Greshner behind the goal. Greshner cleared it but not out. Red Army keeping it in. Now again, Popov is covered by Greshner. Greshner number four. Kept it on the board. Coming out Johnstone. Johnstone with Polis. Going in with Stemkowski. Reading. And a shot of all was wide. Two Rangers behind the net to pick it up. And it's Polis bumped on the board. It goes back in the net the other way. And Kuskin is in first. But Stemkowski stopped it for the shot. And that's blocked by Kretyak. Now on the other side, Johnstone. He was Game is coming to you from Madison Square Garden. Vladimir Popov of the Central Red Army team has been penalized for charging at 7.58. As Bob mentioned, first penalty called against the Soviets. Popov is a youngster who came over early and played with the Moscow Selects during their tour of Canada for the past couple of weeks. And there he is in the penalty box as assistant coach Alexandrov keeps notes. They've got three coaches, Harry, working back of the bench. <laughs> Well, they now have three the or four different units, don't they? Now the Rangers on the power play. Esposito at center ice gets the draw. Here's Schilfer. by play one. Didn't get good wood on it. It was wide anyway. And now on the boards. Into the corner. Vickers gets set. Played it back to the in front. And it was intercepted by Petrov. Now the Russians will try to kill it. Mikhailov back in his own zone. Lachenko shoots it down the ice. A bad day's pass behind Gilbert. A two-on-one break. 
It's Mikulov going with Petrov, sliding it in front, and it went by Mikhailov, who was in on the wing. Back to the net, Gilbert. Four to one the score. Red Army leading. Rangers on the power play, led by Gilbert at the middle ten. Middle ten is up the coming up against Gusev on the Red Army team. That will give the Rangers a two-man advantage. This is Super Series 76 from New York. About a minute and 12 seconds worth of double advantage for the Rangers. Here's Gilbert working it into the slot. Gilbert nearly lost to Petrov covering on him. Now bad May to Esposito. He fanned on it. Esposito has it again, taking it off the boards. Esposito looks around. Over on the other side. Bad May shooting. Right into the crease. And that is down. They carry it away from the goal now. Now it's Bad May shooting one. That one off the leg. Into the corner. Vickers with it. Vickers looks around, gives it to Gilbert. A two-man advantage for the Rangers now. They're down by three goals. It's Gilbert waiting. He tried to put it in front of Petrov, knocked it down and peered it down the ice. Now it's Middleton coming out. Here's Middleton swooping in over that line. Here's Middleton. He was grabbed with carries on. He centered it. And it's Gilbert racing near the line. Over the other way for that day. To Esposito! And Petrov covered the side in time. Esposito played it back to the net, covering up with Sagankov. Sagankov gets it loose. And right in front of Batman, Esposito, back to Gilbert. He can't reach it. Gilbert in the center ice area. The Rangers on around, can't get too many good shots away. Vickers in with Esposito. Back it comes. Now Popov is back on, so they're one man short. It's clear to the line and not out. Batman coming in. Oh, and his pass from behind Vickers. Here's Vickers in the corner. Right in front of Esposito. Oh, had to hit Middleton and missed him with a pass, and it's cleared down the ice. Now it's Badney coming back out. 20 seconds left in Gusev's penalty. Badney coming in for the Rangers. Stopped up the line. They'll be onside unless it's cleared, but it is. So the play goes right on. And it's Mikulov going in to watch Davidson clear into the corner. Just five seconds left in Gusev's penalty. The Rangers unable to score with a two-man advantage. Now the Russians are at full strength as Putnak stops that long shot. With 9-10 remaining in the second period, the score, the Soviet Red Army 4, the New York Rangers 1. This game is being televised back to the Soviet Union, and Bob, there's an old friend of yours doing the commentary from ice level. That's what they call him, Mr. Rosarov from the ice level. He insists on sitting there. He wants to be near the action. Well, there's been some action in the stands. We have just had an all- I think that we've taken enough advantage of it tonight, mainly because probably in the first period anyway, the Rangers were uh, short-handed so often. But uh, Trediak made a couple of good saves, particularly on Esposito on that quick shot from the slot. But I also thought the Russian team positioned themselves excellently. Uh, Petrov, who, who did such an outstanding job playing against Phil Esposito in the 72 series, he's healing. Well, I tell you, people talk about this particular series, the interest that there is, and so often you hear people say it's too bad that Bobby Orr once again loses out on the chance to play against the Soviets. Okay, Bob Cole. And the faceoff with Stepkowski getting the draw. Back quickly in the shot by Fairbairn was wide. Fairbairn after it again, trying to knock it along the boards. A high stick went up, but did not make contact. And center ice. The pass over on the wing, Satcharok on for his first ship. He has to face three Soviet players who are coming in now. The pass comes back to Vikulov from Shlukov. He couldn't make a play. Fairbairn at center ice had his pass stopped. Now again, Shlukov turning around. Lazarok shoots it in. But Stemkowski was late in getting back outside the line. Well, there is number three, Vladimir Luchenko. He has played on six World Amateur Championship teams in the Soviet Union. Harry, they list him at 5'10", 200 pounds. They have more 5'6", and 4'5", 7's, and 5'8's on the statistics they've had over for the team. If there's anybody on that team that's 5'6", I put 6 and 7 inch players on. <laughs> and Harry, they have Alexandrov down as 5'5". Five five. Take that. Might be, the, might be the closest. Okay, the Rangers. Beverly behind the goal. Into the corner from Esposito. Beverly comes out. Laid it on the wing, Badney. Being helped by Beverly again. Now Badney has to back up. 
And they pass to Beverly coming out with Polis looking for the pass. And he gets it near the line and a stick lifted then and cut back. Holds it with his glove and gets the stoppage. The face off to the Red Army. Side. You know, this fellow Trechak is just 23 years old. Harry, that, he was 20 when he played against your team in 72. He's been playing for this, the number one team in the Soviet Union, since he was 16. That's amazing. That's an excellent goal that he's made a number of stops tonight. Into the corner. Vasilia got away from Esposito and Polis with a pass. Luchenko coming up to center. Gusev takes it. Turns around with it. Gusev, number two, takes it with his skate. Then his pass to Harlamov went behind him and down the ice. This will be icing against Red Army. That kick so you mentioned, Bob, there with his skate, I think was a deliberate move as he tried to feint the pass and then kicked it ahead with his foot. Very neat. The fellow, I think, has played a, a fine game tonight for the Rangers, Carol Vadney. We have the Soviet official working tonight. They are going to be alternating Soviet referees and NHL referees. And we have two NHL linesmen tonight. When an NHL referee works the game in charge, one of the Soviet officials will serve as a linesman. And, of course, there's a standby referee, and that tonight is from the NHL, Bruce Hood. Arlamov had the pass again go behind him. He's offside. That's Vladimir Petrov. It's NHL rules all the way, save for one minor exception. That's the curved stick. And looking at some of the Soviet sticks today, Harry, I was watching them work out here this morning. They have uh, some curves on them. In fact, if we could get a look at Petrov's, I think his is one of the best in that regard. He's a little miffed at that call. Uh, <laughs> international rules, that would have been all right. As a puck preseason, the player over center ice. Bad day's pass harmlessly over to Harlamov, who speeds out of his own zone down the right wing. Harlamov going in with Petrov. Petrov into the corner, centered it. Harlamov couldn't control of Petrov again to Harlamov. He gets it back to Gusev. The shot. It's tipped in front of the net and away from the goal. Now back to the net. The puck was hit with a stick high, and it's called. Game one of Super Series 76 is coming to you from Madison Square Garden. The Army out front. And the play from Popov to the blue line. The Rangers breaking it up, and Dylan is coming out to center. Yes, Fairbairn on his right. The pass the other way. And Johnstone, or rather Polis, turn around. Now getting in front. The quick shot by Holland was stopped. Holland again. And Petjak with that glove out made a good save. Outside the line, Greshner is forced along the boards. Brings it in. Greshner getting in front and losing it. Popov comes back to center with Malsev going in. The play is tipped away to center ice, and Malsev has to come back. Now Volchenko, he tried to go through. He stopped at the line, and Bill Fairbairn of the Rangers goes back deep in his own zone. Bring the 14-minute mark of the second period, 4-1 to one Red Army. This is Fairbairn coming out, shoots it in to the Red Army zone. After it behind the goal, he tried to center it. Dillon around the net. Dillon centered it. It went through the crease, and Jerry Holland was tied up and couldn't get a stick near it. Hop off along the left wing board, been tied up by Fairbairn, but shakes him loose. He centered it in front, and down goes Davidson to hold it. Those of you with us right at the top of the show may have noticed a bit of a mix-up in the introduction of the Soviet players. As is their custom, they pulled a last-minute sweater switch. Twelve became eight, and eight became fifteen, and that's where the confusion began. There's a curved stick, and I'm sure that uh, by our standards, it's a little too much. Here's the face-off to the right of Davidson. Here on the boards, went by Kachuk at the line. It's kept in by Slokov into the corner. He centered it. Scramble. Down goes Davidson. The corner. Davidson went down, but they knocked it in. Alexandrov and Shukov fighting for possession in front. Harry, the Soviets hung tough, and the Rangers didn't take out the man. A great example of the strength they have in their arms and hands. Watch here as he, as he struggled very hard with his hands. I think he tough one, two, three, four, five white sweaters in the picture when it's all over and just the one Soviet player. But he put it home for Alexandrov, his second goal of the game, and it's 5-1 for the Central Red Army. Shukchov, Nikulov, and Alexandrov were all pounding away in front of the net. As Harry Simmons just pointed out, just in sheer strength. They got their fifth goal. Shukchov coming in again with Nikulov. 
Nikulov, who scored the last goal, and comes back to the line. A long shot by Luchenko. Stop it. Here's Middleton on the breakaway. Luce trying to get back. Shoots! And Petke got his leg out and made the save. Zemkowski kept it in. Middleton again centered it. And Kachuk couldn't make a play. He was covered in front. That's center ice. Shook top coming up. He's up near the line and over it. Shook top. Given a ride on the boards. Zemkowski couldn't pick it up. Nikulov in the corner, tries to center it and fails. Middleton for the Rangers. A pass hit a skate. And Kachuk was bumped by Badney and fell down. Play is called. It was gloved to head and a legal pass, and it's called back. Nikulov gets credit for that goal that makes it 5-1. to one. Harry, we're going to take another look at it from a different angle. I think it's just sheer strength and per- perseverance on the part of the Soviet player. Watch, watch him strengthen his arms to get that little shot away. And again... They do a lot of weight training over there, and uh, might have had something to do with that goal. Now the Rangers, Esposito, starting out with just 4.25 remaining in the period. 5-1 to one the score, Red Army leading. Petiak stopped it for Gusev behind the goal, into the corner goes Vasiliev, and here he comes. Vasiliev up to center on the left wing. Playing it in to Mikulov. He centered it. Petrov sliced it near the net. Harlamov puts it back of the goal. Petrov is stopped by Breshner. They hold it on the boards. It comes loose. Back to the line. A quick shot by Gusev. Was stopped by Gilbert. And Gilbert in turn was stopped by Vasilya. Esposito. His pass. Tipped up at center by Jarrett. Gilbert going in. The pass to Vickers right in. He tried to play it back in front for the next for pass. And it was blocked. Breshner at center. Breshner stick handling neatly, losing it. And Red Army coming back down the ice on the left wing. Mikhailov tipped it back to the line. Here's Gustav right in. Oh! And Davidson was out of the play, but they couldn't jam it by him. Five to one Red Army. And it's the Rangers going with Vickers. He was bumped out of the play. A nice, neat hip check by Vasilya. Now coming out is Mikhailov to center and pass it to Herlamov. He stopped him without any score. Mikhailov. Now that makes it 6-1. to one. The Rangers actually playing short right there because Steve Vickers had been hurt and was limping off the ice at the other end of the rink. And Harry, they just toss it around again with all that room. Beautiful. Winger wide open. Almost a three on two here. Across the goal mouth. Now it's team captain Mikhailov uh, who gets the goal, and that makes it six to one. And the fans, for the first time tonight, seem to be getting just a little bit restless and upset with the Rangers. And back they come, right off the faceoff, as Soviets in the New York zone again. Zolodukin, lost it in the Rangers zone. Now Badney's pass to center. Fairbairn is stopped. Once again, Volchenkov with his, at his own blue line. His pass stopped by Beverly. Up to Dillon. Dillon going in for the Rangers. A pass on the wing, and Holland centered it. At the line, Fairbairn took a long shot, and Tretkak making no mistake, loving it and holding it. From New York, Super Series 76. Again, admiring the way the Soviets throw that puck around. Well, here we are. I think the Rangers are a little disorganized on defense, and disorganization against the Soviet team is fatal. They take advantage of a man caught out of position, and that's what they did there. Nobody's watching the right winger. Six to one is the score. A high shot off the glass, and after it is Holland. Gary Holland on the board, centered it. But Army can't clear it out. Fairbairn kept it in. But now they'll move it out with Popov coming up to center ice. Vladimir Popov all the way with it, gets in front, and was stopped by Beverly. It's centered all the way to the red line, and coming back is Solodukin. The zone zone with Volchenkov shooting it down the ice. Five goal lead, I guess they can do that. Davidson hearing some of the Ranger fans getting on him now. As Beverly comes out, a rather bad day to center. He shoots a long one in. Stopped by Fred Jackson. He'll hold it every opportunity he finds now. Just to get the last two goals straightened out again. Vicky Lop from Zhukov and Alexandrov at 14-21. And then it was Mikhailov and a beautiful passing play. Alamov and Gustav assisting at 16-54. On the right and behind is assistant coach Anatoly Firzov, who for years was considered the outstanding player of all. 
in the Soviet Union. 34, Harry. They tried to talk about retirement a few times, even in this part of the world. <laughs> you got 10 years to go. Right here. Shuktov coming out for Red Army up to center with 145 remaining in the second period. Davidson tipped it back of the net. Rangers trying to organize in their own zone, and it's Gresher. He's been carrying the puck a lot. Plays it down to the wing for John Stone. He took a long high shot on the glass. Polis has the rebound, and he fell. Zagankov tried to move it out, but Polis gets into the corner. It was checked by Zagankov. Now they fight for it, and Polis still fighting against the play is called, and it's going to be a face off in the Red Army zone. There's an official game film being taken of this game, and it will be dispatched first off to Montreal, and Scotty Bowman and the Canadians will be looking at it as they prepare for their Wednesday night game. The Canadians are in Washington tomorrow, but they'll study the films on Tuesday, and then it'll go on to the other teams, including Harry, your Boston Bruins, as this particular Central Red Army team makes a swing. A lot to learn. Now coming out to the right of Kretnak, deep in the Red Army zone, with 116 remaining in the period, right in front of Esposito, and his weak shot, he didn't get it away properly, he's cleared away easily by Kretnak. Rangers keep it in, but they're holding on the board, Polis apparently gloved it ahead, and it's caught. I'm so sure he didn't glove it ahead to himself. Mentioning the Canadians, that game Wednesday night will be carried, of course, on Hockey Night in Canada. New Year's Eve from Montreal, and you'll be able to cut the tension with a knife in the forum, I'm sure. 7 o'clock Eastern time to start. The Wings, the other Soviet team on this trip, get into action tomorrow night in Pittsburgh. That game is not televised. Alexandrov tipped it out of his own zone. Vikulov is stopped, but carrying on is Shukhtov. Shukhtov coming in with Alexandrov around the net. And Alexandrov nearly broke in. He's a real speedster, too. On the boards, it's near to center. Now, play is called with Vikulov, I think it is, being draped along the boards. And I think it's a penalty to the Ranger rookie, number 14, Ed Johnstone. And here it comes. Johnstone, uh, up from Providence. He's a native of Brandon, and with the Rangers having a lot of injuries, he's been in action of late. He gets a slashing penalty. Nick, Phil Esposito been playing on two lines here tonight, right through this second period, whether they're four or five goals down or not, he's still been seeing double duty with uh, with Vickers and Joe Bear on one line, and Polis on the line that just went off. Okay, Harry, 49 seconds remaining in the period, this penalty at 19-11, and the score is 6-1, to one, Red Army. And the man advantage again. Watch him line it up now. Petrov is at center. His pass to Mikhailov. They're over the line. Mikhailov played it in, but it stopped by Kachuk. And it went over the boards near the Soviet bench. I mentioned about Steve Vickers being injured. Here's a fellow who gave him the hip check. Valery Vasilyov. He's one of the two players loaned to this team from the Moscow Dynamos. Voted the best defense man at the 1975 World Amateur Championship. He's 26 years old. So many goals that Dick start deep in your own end, and, and his check started the play that uh, resulted in the goal for the Soviet team. Rangers, that day, shoots it down the ice. 30 seconds remaining in the second period. 6-1, to one, Red Army. And they're organizing near center. They go back in their own zone, but the Rangers are offside as they shoot it in. Now just 21 seconds remaining in the period. And Johnstone, Rangers, has 132, remaining in his penalty. They saw it just outside, Red Army line. Kachuk comes to center ice. And yet to draw, but at center, a long shot by Fairbairn as he picked it up and stopped by Tretiak. Gusev around the net. He's a good rushing defenseman, comes up near the line. Gusev decides he doesn't like the way things look, passes it back to the goaltender. Fredyak. And now Gusev coming out. Got away from uh, one check as the buzzer goes to end the second period. Red Army 6 and the Rangers 1. And the crowd here, the capacity crowd of 17,500. They were so high and so much behind their team when this game began. The Rangers opened the scoring at the 21 second mark. Center ice for the start of the third period. 
with the Red Army team leading 6-1. to one. And John Stone of the Rangers has one minute and 11 seconds remaining in his penalty. He went off for slashing at 19-11 in the second period. Now we're set to go. Red Army with a man advantage. Again controlling in their own zone. Mikhailov is coming back for it. He's back to the net. Swoops out with it. Here he comes, leading the attack straight up through the middle. Mikhailov trying to go through, nearly did. It was stopped by Greshner. And then Kachuk down the left side decides to shoot it over on an open wing. And Gusev for Red Army in front of his own net. He's lining it up. He's a big one. Comes to center. Passes off on the right way. They clear it into the corner. Vasilyev couldn't move it. He lost his stick. And the play is called in the Ranger zone. I think a penalty coming up to Vasilyev of the Red Army. Number two. Well, I'm sure the Rangers will take that one. I think he said number two. He had a microphone down there, Harry, for the Soviet official, but it's number five. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He even confused the announcer. Well, they're announcing it, Gusev, but it's Vasilyev, number five. He's just doing what the referee told him to do. They all look the same. <laughs> There's the correction. Now they're five aside. 38 seconds, the time of that penalty to Vasilya of Red Army. And it's Gilbert coming out over the line at center ice. Gilbert trying to go all the way with it. Gusev couldn't stop him. He got in front and lost it against Mikhailov. Mikhailov in front of his own net. The pass went over Petrov's stick down the ice. This will be icing. And Beverly picks it up. Come in to back up uh, John Davidson by this time, but he is uh, ill. He had an appendicitis attack. Doug Sotar, the backup goaltender out of the Edmonton Juniors, he has played only 16 minutes of NHL action. Pretty tough to put him in his spot. Now Badney from the point. A pass. Didn't work for Gilbert. Petrov comes out over the line, hands it off to Mikhailov. He dropped it back in his own zone. And the Soviet team controlling it with Mikhailov in the center ice area. A neat play for Petrov over on the wing and coming in. Mikhailov decides to come out with it again. Mikhailov turning around. Pulls away from Esposito. Still has it. This is Boris Mikhailov, the captain of this team. And he's putting on a show, but finally Esposito knocked it away from him. Esposito is now being called on the play. Well, the two team captains who exchanged gifts in friendly fashion before the game began got involved there. Harry, I think in Phil's case, that's got to be a little bit of frustration. Perhaps, perhaps. I think he was being hooked a little bit. Here's the hook under his chin, too. Bothered him a little. Here's the elbow. That was over the chin. <laughs> That's why he got two and the other one didn't. <laughs> Minute 40, the time of the penalty to Esposito. Carol Badney out there again, I think, has been the strongest ranger on the ice. Right, right. I've been impressed with the occasion with Wayne Dillon and uh, Young Holland. Uh, they have worked hard, the youngsters playing on the same line. That's a close call. Now Satcharak, number five for the Rangers, shoots it off the boards to center ice. Sagankov played it up ahead, coming in. Vikulov gets it, drops it back. The pass went right to the Rangers, and Gilbert is coming out. He's in with Stemkowski and Satcharak. Couldn't make the play for Satcharak. And Vikulov turning for... Red Army coming in with a long shot. Davidson stopped at the rebound. And he nearly put that one on the net. Gilbert, back of the goal. Looks around as he starts away. Dropped it in front of the net. Satcharak gives it back to him. Gilbert across center in on the wing. Stemkowski. Stemkowski cuts for the net and centered it. But they cover up. Volchenkov moved it away from the danger area. Volchenkov's pass is stopped. Satcharak got a goal. And Kretgek looked good with that save as he kicked out the right leg. Hearing the three-minute mark of the third period, six to one is the score, Red Army leading. Shuktov goes back to his own net. Shuktov waiting as the Russians are changing as the play goes on. Now they bring it out. Coming out over the line, Vasilyev, the play up to Mikhailov, and he backtracks with it. Mikhailov looking for the open. Dropped it over the other way for Petrov. 
Petrov at center ice. Waits for a moment. Now he gets away from Kachuk. Plays it into Harlamov. Harlamov cuts for the net. He was tied up this time. He scored a beautiful goal earlier. Petrov scores! Petrov, a bullet shot to the glove side of Davidson. And it's 7-1. to one. Harry, I was noticing this morning watching the Soviets work out the way they were going to the slap shot. And here's a perfect example. Right. He doesn't take his stick back too far, though, but he does slap it. Something they didn't do a few years ago. Now, Petrov's the one who scored that goal on a very quick shot from much closer range earlier in the second period to make it 4-1. to one. And here, from just inside the blue line, he winds up and lets it go, and it's 7-1 to one for the Central Red Army. Now Red Army offside. Also carrying it in. Karlamov was double teamed on that last goal, and that left Petrov open. Now Jarrett, a pass out for Middleton, went by him down the ice. He tries to chase it. Volchenkov was there first, and Red Army clearing it again. On the boards, Volchenkov moved it out. Now Popov is circling in front of his own net. Popov dropped it back. Solodukin around the goal. Solodukin in front of the net. Kuzkin, a pass ahead. And it's Malsev coming up over the line. Malsev dropping it near the blue line. There's that passing play again. Right in front, it comes Popov playing it over there. Malsev was muscled off the puck. And the Rangers clearing it. They're trending by six goals. Middleton has stopped. Trying to carry on was Wayne Dillon. He was taken out of the play, and Popov swings back again. Up at center ice. Popov going in, and he was hammered away by Jarrett. He really hit him with a heavy, solid body check. The Rangers, Jarrett, long pass. Middleton was covered. Balsev to Solodukin. Solodukin back near his own blue line. Shoots it back for Kuzkin. On the boards, Popov again. And he was stopped near the line. Now Jarrett. At center ice. He's coming in with Holland. Jarrett had his stick lifted from behind and didn't get the shot away. Malsev doing good checking. Popov is offside, and it's called back. Doug Jarrett, who was in the penalty box way back in the first period when the Soviets scored their first of seven straight, really lays a check on Popov that time as he cut across. But all to no avail, really, with the score reading 7-1 to one against Ron Stewart's New York Rangers. I think this has to whet the appetite a little bit for Wednesday night in Montreal. I'll say so. A long shot. Pet Gack stopping it offside with the Rangers. From New York, Super Series 76. Esposito looking around, waiting for this face-off. It comes up just outside the Soviet blue line. And they played 450 of the third period. 7-1, Red Army. Polis lost a chance to move it in. Esposito couldn't reach it. Now Polis. Oh, and that center ice. Alexandrov, make that Vigulov who was hammered as the Ranger defense begins to throw the muscle around. And here's Johnstone coming in around the netting goes. Johnstone in the corner, comes out front at the rim of the circle. Johnstone near the blue line. Vigulov can't stop him. Now the play the other way. There's the shot. And the play is called. Well, as Bob mentioned, the Rangers are starting to toss the weight around. A moment or so ago, we saw Doug Jarrett toss a pretty good check. We just saw another one right here. Now Bednarski could trap it inside the line from center. He backhands it in. It's booted out to center ice. That's a good play. A new one up near the... Ranger goal, they can't go through, and again, they have to go back for it. Chenko just played at the center. Now the Rangers are really hitting. Vigilov just took another check. Esposito is muscled off the puck by Sagankov. Chenko shoots it in. It's in wide of the Rangers. Ned Davis stopped it behind the goal. Now comes in front of Vigilov, got in front of the crease. But he was covered, and Esposito coming out. A long pass for Polis. He's upended, and the play is called as Tripiak stopped it and held on to it. There are four games being played elsewhere in the National Hockey League tonight, and the only other towns can try to get into the final if we can. Give it to you if it's good news. I can take it. <laughs> Face-off comes to the right of Tripiak. 
And here it is. In two. To the side of the net. A backhand shot. Stopped by Petjak. Stankowski couldn't jam it in. Petjak really holding the post on that short side. He's, uh, his goaltending has really, really been refined. And Narski takes the drive. Look at that glove save right there. By Petjak, and he gets a hand from the Ranger fan. Barry, your team beat him for 31 goals in the eight games played in 72. And, you know, I, I don't wonder if he had his bad moments in that series, but as you say, he is very sharp. Today. Arlamov is racing to center and a stop, but Petrov has to lose puck near his own line. Nearly lost it to Stemkowski. Covering up was Vasiliev. And now, Gusev. Nice move by Gusev. Vasiliev got his pass. He's coming up to center. Harlamov on the right side. A nice move at the line to Petrov. Petrov back in front. A quick shot by Mikhailov is blocked. And the Rangers, trailing by six goals, come right back to Stemkowski. Stemkowski is stopped. But carrying on is that May. Going in. And Petjak came out to cover the angle. And Petjak hangs on to it. Well, Carol Vadney, as Harry mentioned, probably the outstanding Ranger in this game. He's worked very hard. He gets the chance here on the left side, but as he lets the shot go right from the spot, no angle at all. Tretjak comes out and covers up. Harry, we've had a couple of shots on the bench of the Soviet head coach, Konstantin Laktev. You go back with him a few years, don't you? Yes, I remember him, and he was a, he was a great player for their national team back in the 50s. Jarrett takes a shot. It's in wide of the net, coming out on the left wing. Pop off. He stops near the line. At center ice, Middleton is muscled away by Popov. But now Middleton comes back in. Faces in for a shot. Got in front of the net. The rebound, and it's cleared away hurriedly. Now coming back up the line, Solodukin at center in on the wing, Popov. Popov gets away from one check. No, he doesn't. He was grabbed from behind and twisted around. Now the play is called, and it again was glove to hit. Tonight's game is coming to you from Madison Square Garden. They've played 7 minutes and 22 seconds. Of the third period, 7-1 to one to score. Red Army over the New York Rangers. And this is the first game of Super Series 76. The Rangers outclassed in this one. At this point, Dillon at center ice. He was stopped. Kuzkin shoots along one Davidson. Took it on one hop. Reschner from the corner, away from Popov. Reschner gets to center ice. Reschner up near the line. Bounces it in. Petniak stopped it. And Kuzkin in the corner. Got away from Dillon. Kuzkin back in the net. Backhands it over the other side. And it stopped Fairbairn. Tried to center it. He was stopped in the corner by Volchenko. Now it's Popov coming down to center ice. Popov is stopped at the ring to line. And the play is called. Another penalty coming up. Number 10. This is Super Series 76 from New York. Bill Fairburn of the Rangers has just drawn his team's seventh penalty of the hockey game. He has been sent off for slashing at 8.04. There is the reason why. The Soviets have two of their seven goals on the power play. And they're organizing it again with a face-off coming inside the Ranger blue line. So no doubt this important face-off if they get the draw. They'll move it around and move it around until somebody is free for a shot. But they don't get the draw. The Rangers send them back. 7-1, to one, Red Army. As they near the 9-minute mark of the third period. This is Luchenko coming down on the wing. At center ice. They bring it in over the line and shoot it on the net. Davidson. There to back of the net. Kowski from the corner. Backhands it down the ice. Tretjak is out of the goal. He stops it. Here's Zagankov coming out from around the net. Zagankov's pass down the left side. Alexandrov moving in with Chuktov. He was stopped. And then the Rangers nearly got away, but it's cleared ahead. Too far for Stemkowski. Luchenko around the goal. He is stopped. Now he starts the other way. Comes out near the line. The pass stopped at center ice. The Rangers covering up with Jarrett shooting it back. One minute remaining in the penalty to Fairbairn of the Rangers. 7-1 Red Army over the New York Rangers. Alexandrov's pass up near the line. They bring it in. Nikolov gets set on the boards. Gets it back in front. Zagankov couldn't get a stick near it as Esposito slashed it away. Luchenko is back in his own zone. 
Shanko back of the net, put the brakes on, lays it up, Red Army changing as the play goes on. Coming to center is Petrov, up that center ice. Petrov near the line, just tosses it in. Mikhailov racing it after it, but that day was near first. That day then lost it. And on the boards, it was cleared near the blue line and out over by Vickers. Vickers passed to Vadney. He has stopped. Again, Red Army coming in. With 16 seconds left in the penalty, this is Harlamov. His pass comes back to him. He didn't see it. Mikhailov at center. Into Petrov. And his shot stopped by Davidson. And he holds it. Wednesday night. This is two, so they will be getting another shot. And that should be quite a hockey game. They saw it coming up to the left of Davidson. Esposito gets set against Petrov. Around the net, but Narski manages to get the puck back to the Soviet blue line. It's dropped back in front of the goal. Gusev is coming out with it. Here he comes. Out to center ice is Gusev. Up near the Ranger line, still has it. Shoots it in back of the goal where Davidson was behind the net to stop it for Gudnarski. On the board, Gilbert. A pass to Esposito. Esposito down across the line. He has Vickers with him. And Gilbert, Vickers in. He had a stick lifted by Vasilia, but couldn't shoot it. Now Gilbert was given a jolt as Petrov comes back in, dropped it back to the slot, and it's broken up in front by Vadney. Laid back down the ice. Vickers couldn't catch up to it. Vasilia has it. His pass stopped by Gilbert. In front of the net is Vickers. And he couldn't shoot it. Back for Harlamov, coming down to center. On the wing with Mikhailov, cutting for the net. He's around the goal. Mikhailov all the way back to the blue line. Now a pass the other way for Vasilyev. He took the shot. Hit the goal post. Now Petrov gets set. Petrov, a nice move. At the line, and Gilbert getting away. He's going with Vickers. Gilbert missed the pass. It was in too far. And Seven to one, the score. Red Army leading, and this is Mikhailov back in his own zone behind the net. Mikhailov into the corner. Let's it hand it back to him. Quite calmly are the Russians at this moment. Vasilyev up near the line, just tossed it down the ice. Now Gilbert with Esposito. Esposito over on the right wing, getting away from Vasilyev in the corner. He centered it, and it's cleared by Tretyak out of the goal. Crease. Against Vasilyev. Up Red Army coming down with Popov. Right in front of the net. Popov giving a jolt as he let the pass go. Mikhailov to Popov. Right in front of Davidson. Made a big save. The Rangers clearing it. Vickers just let it go by him down the ice. Vasilyev coming back out slowly. Decides to go back with it and does. Volchenkov standing in front of him. But the pass went to Saladukin. Now Saladukin up on the wing. Here they come, down to center. Alexandrov and Popov. Saladukin was stopped. The Rangers at center. Shoot it in on the boards. Fair Bear knocked it back to the net. And Kuzkin is the first one back. Kuzkin nearly lost it. He got it out front. The puck is blocked. And there's no possibility. They're piling it on the boards. And the fans are standing up and roaring. And here it comes. John Bednarski was the one who seemed to want to get involved after the fact. There's the referee calling the original penalty. Well, when all that was over, we have a two-minute cross-checking penalty call on Bill Fairburn of the Rangers. We had the mix-up right after the penalty was called, but that's all. We have it, I think, coming up. Ooh, there's Bednarski's check right there. That was earlier on. I'm sorry. That was a few minutes before that last penalty call. Anyway, at 12.42, it's Fairburn, his second straight penalty here in this third period. Soviets on that last pen penalty didn't really seem to uh, mount much of an offense. Uh, almost deliberately just <laughs> passed the puck back and forth in their own end. Now Kuchu shoots it back in the Rangers zone. Marski around the net, played it up on the boards for Kuchu. He gets it out over the line. Kuzkin over on the other side. Volchenkov left it there. That army coming back to regroup again. Soladukin with Popov and Malsev. This is Malsev in the zone zone. Back of the net, Soladukin. 
Solodukin coming out in front of the goal, hits the blue line. Solodukin up to center, shoots it in the Ranger zone. Malsen racing it after it, and it's steered away by Davidson. He got away from Malsen's check right after that. And the Rangers, Bednarski, finding the opening to clear it. 120 remaining in the penalty. To Fairbairn, he's off for cross-checking. Red Army coming out again. This is Popov on the wing with Solodukin and Malsan. The Rangers breaking it up with Vadne. Vadne clears it through the two defensemen at the blue line down the ice. Red Gag out of the goal. He's steered away for Kuzkin. Kuzkin left it for Malsev on the boards. Malsev the other way. Popov has to come back with it. Vladimir Popov circles in front of the goal. Stick handles away from Kachuk at center ice. Popov and Solodukin going in. Popov couldn't go all the way as he tries. And Kachuk takes over for New York. He stops, goes back to get away from Malsev. Into the corner on the boards. It's clear near the line of the Rangers. Kachuk coming out. He's up to center ice. Vadne is with him. Kachuk put the shot. Petnak stopped it. Vadne is after the rebound. Along the boards and he has it. Vadne took an easy weak shot. Petnak steered it away. 14 seconds left in the Ranger penalty. Red Army coming down to center ice. They're leading 7 to 1. Going right in on goal. And clearing it off in the corner. Malsev is belted. He couldn't get his shot. And then Esposito comes out as Fairburn joins him from the penalty box. And he's offside. And it's called. Now, Phil Esposito, one of two members of the Rangers team here tonight who played for Team Canada 72. The other, Rod Gilbert. As I mentioned, six members of the Canadians on Team Canada. They had six in the initial stages. One was Frank Mahovlich. Uh, he has gone to the WHA, but Don Ori, now with the team, also played on Team Canada. Alexandrov down across the line. Alexandrov gets set to make a play and does to Luchenkov. And his shot deflected high on the spectators behind a Ranger goal. Good solid wrist shot. They are shooting that puck well from the points. I didn't feel in 72 that they, they shot uh, as often from the points as they might have. Uh, they appear to have added that to their repertoire. Now Shuktov at center ice for Red Army gets the draw, but by Davidson. In the corner quickly is Vickers. He dropped it there, and the Rangers starting out. Garrett's long pass was too far for Gilbert. This will be icing as Lucheco goes back to touch it. Game one of Super Series 76 is coming to you from Madison Square Garden. Well, the picture tells it all. Ron Stewart uh, dejected back of that hockey stick. His team trailing 7-1. to one. We have 4.48 left in the game. Now from the faceoff in the corner. Garrett tipped it the other way. Luchenko stops it at the blue line. Took the shot. That was a way off the Ranger net. Victor's coming out with Esposito. He took the pass on his skate. Gave it to Gilbert. Gilbert in with a drive. Petgak loved that. He'll hold it again. And they get a whistle. It's a true... Russian atmosphere around the Madison Square Garden complex these days. The Moscow Circus is playing in the adjacent felt forum. And that one chap, we had a shot of him earlier, all dressed up uh, like a Cossack. Uh, he was a fugitive from the circus, must have slipped out between acts to catch part of the hockey game. And now, four and a half minutes left. Gilbert scores! Oh, what a shot by Gilbert! Well, very basic here, Harry, with Esposito winning the faceoff and Gilbert just letting it go. Very basic, but it was a, a beautiful, clean draw by Esposito back to uh, Gilbert. I was about to remark in the last stop of the play that the one area... There's a close-up of Fretchak right here. And the goal, Gilbert from Esposito, was scored at 15 he said, no chance for the Soviet goal. The Rangers were holding their own. We're on the face-offs, and... Uh, Espo sure won that one neatly back to Gilbert. Gilbert can shoot him, and he got that one away quickly. No chance for trade. And Esposito also got an assist on this one. Could year again. Number 10 is on for the first time of the game. He's offside. Oh, that was a bullet drive by Gilbert. Brent Yack still shaking his head over that. 420 remaining in the hockey game. 7-2 of the score. Red Army out front. Now Gretschner cuts for the net. He centered it. It comes all the way back to Volchkov. was also on for his first turn. And it's Kutier get going in with Popov. 
Pop-up gets in front, slides one by on the open side. Into the corner, Gilbert is after it. Gilbert moved it back of his own goal. He and Volchkov bump together. Earlier in the period, Rod Gilbert slashed at a Soviet player. I don't know why he didn't get a penalty on that particular occasion. And right here, Rod, obviously a little upset. There's a ball on the ice, and Vasiliev's trying to handle it, and he can't handle it too well. Maybe we should use a ball <laughs> against this team. What have we got here? Are there penalties to be assessed? The referee finally... No, there's no penalty. Penalties. Yes. Volchkov oh, is sorry. off for Red Army. He's automatic. He looked at the Ranger player for the penalty. Well, it was he, Dick, who gave Gilbert the runaround to the side of the net. Gilbert tried to retaliate. I guess he missed him when he came back at him. Volchkov is off. 16.05. 7 to 2, Red Army. And again, the Rangers with a man advantage. Vadnay in his own zone. His pass to the line out to center is Esposito coming in with Vickers. Vickers back to Esposito. Right in. A nice play for Gilbert. And he was tied up, couldn't get the backhander away. Red Army bringing it out, Petrov at center ice. He decides to leg it back towards center and does. Mikhailov back near his own line, up to Petrov. Petrov took the pass near the center ice red line. Play goes right on. Over on the other side, they play it back inside their own blue line, and Gusev hooked the high one down through the middle, and it bounces near the Ranger blue line. Satcharak gave it to Vadne. Now Satcharak again, looking for Esposito and Vadne, and Vadne gets the pass out to center ice. Broken up, Gilbert lost it against Mikhailov. Mikhailov right back in his own zone. Soviet Red Army killing seconds on this penalty. Now Vadney intercepting. Oh, that high drive was wide. Back of the goal, Gusev, and he was bumped by Gilbert. Vickers went in to help out. Vickers can't get away. He was too well covered. And it's Vadney again knocking it down near the blue line. Vadney's pass to Satcharak at center ice. He fell. And Mikhailov lost it. Esposito coming in with Vickers. Right in front is Vadney. And his backhander is stopped by Trentyak. At center ice. With 2.20 remaining in the game. Satcharak gallops in. He pulls his way to a big shot. And then stopped by Trentyak. The Rangers seem to find life. Oh, Esposito hits the charge side. And it's 7-3. Not a high note for the Rangers late in the game as they score two in a row. Harry Phil had some chances like that earlier in the game, and Trichak stopped him. That time he was found the short side. He did. He got it away so quickly that uh, Trichak wasn't able to set himself at all. I think you'll see a release of the puck here as quickly as anybody can do it. Good wrist shot quickly. Hammer couldn't even pick it up. The goal by Phil Esposito was scored on a New York power play. Earlier in the game, I said the Soviets... Well, Esposito has been in all three scoring plays for the Rangers now. Scoring that one. Seventeen forty-two. Seven to three now. Corrected at seventeen forty-seven. The official time. Ikulov coming in. A quick shot. Davis. Davison stops, and right away they lift it over the glass. From New York, Super Series 76. Well, they have three. Petrov's goal in this period was while well, the Rangers were a man short with Esco in the penalty box. On the faceoff, the Rangers, Stemkowski, a pass out to center ice. The chip looks ahead. And it's Stemkowski breaking through the net. Backhand shot, the rebound. And Middleton was too well covered. They keep it in. Garrett with Stemkowski. Now it's the chip. And his quick shot is stopped by Fred Yag. The Rangers are really pouring it on. Now Middleton could jam it in. Back of the goal. They cover up. And clear it down to center ice again. Nikulov is coming in for Red Army. He stops. As Alexandrov with him, but Breshner broke it up. Breshner coming back. A pass to the other side for Middleton going in. And he put Breshner. And he fell before he could shoot it. Breshner centered it and gets it handed back to him. Now Powell's in the corner. He tried to work it in for Middleton. Oh! And Kretniak covered on the angle. But Middleton had a great shot away. 
good chance for middle. And Harry, somebody walking into this building right now really wouldn't get a true picture of how the game has basically gone. The Rangers. Uh, well, we're getting good chance to to look at uh, the weakness, what I think is the weakness of the Soviet team, and that's around their own goal and in their own end. They, they do have a weakness there, and a team that can take advantage of that is going to have a chance against them. A good chance. We'll beat them. Now Dylan. And here's a shot by John Stone. That was stopped. Petyak being very busy now and harassed here in the late stages of the game. 56 seconds remaining. 7 to 3, Red Army. And the Rangers trying to muster some power to make it look a little more respectable. Down by four goals. Getting set for this face-off. Here it comes. Back to the line and Johnstone shot. Stopped by Tretiak. Again, a face-off to his left. Two clean draws in a row for Wayne Dillon. Back to Johnstone. Two good shots. Now it comes back to Johnstone again. He's turning around here. The face-off spot slides it in front. And it brings the goal post. Off the stick of Polis. Ola is trying to set up Johnstone near the side of the net. Volchkov couldn't clear it out. The Rangers keep it in. There's Polis with a chance, and he just couldn't get on track. Now down in the left wing, it's cleared over on the right side to Volchkov. Volchkov lost the helmet, but carries on. Hit back of the net, and he was bumped back there. And now pushed out of the goal crease was Popov. 22 seconds remaining. There's the helmet. That belongs to Volchkov. Penalty coming up. I think Carol Vadney is getting called for the elbow. Greg Polis. Polis. Number two. Wants to get at the referee. Oh, you know. <laughs> for some reason or other. Yeah. 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 Plenty. <clears throat> Two. Well, there you have it. The conversation. Matt Pavlich and Yuri Karendin, the referee, and they get it sorted out. Who's in the penalty box? It's Polis and Vadnay. Both. Where am I mixed up? It looks like two Rangers in there. Oh. Polis is in there, and I think you're right, Dick. Greg Polis. No. Hold, please. Batendun, five minutes. Five minutes. Batendun. Yeah, okay. So there's Number a butt ending two. penalty there as well. We'll get this sorted out. I can't see from my angle, Bob, but I think there are two Rangers in there. I think our interpreter in the penalty box is left early. There, there it is. Matt Pavlich in, in broken Russian straighten that one out. Polis gets two and Vadnik gets five. Vadnik gets a butt-ending penalty. 1938, the time of the penalties. Now Volchkov sending the Rangers back. Freshner behind the goal with Esposito. Esposito turning around in his own zone. Stick handles up near the line. Comes back again. Esposito looked back at one of the Soviet players. Now he's ragging the puck in his own zone. Took a shot and hit Volchkov. And the buzzer goes. The game is over. 7-3, Red Army over the New York Rangers in the first of Super Series 76. And just a smidgen of bad feeling uh, beginning to simmer as the handshake takes place. Harry, this is one time in the first series they do shake hands. First game of the series. That well, was an oversight before. Certainly not on purpose. Wasn't on purpose. Well, it's the tradition that we have to get used to when we get these international games. So there you see it. It's the spirit of goodwill at this point. The total shots. The Rangers have shot them 41 to 29. 
Well, in any game I've ever been in, it's goals that count. But the Rangers did put on a pretty good uh, uh, shooting display in the last five minutes of that game. As a result of good hard forechecking, they took advantage of the vulnerability of the Soviet team in their own end, and, and we're getting good clear shots. So that's it. The final score is 7-3 to three as the Central Red Army defeats the New York Rangers in just a moment.